Hey everybody, one of wisdom. We are back for uh, part six of our Dodge Racing Charger vs. Challenger playthrough. Uh, if you recall, the uh, it's actually a brand new session here. Uh, if you recall from the first time, we finally re-raced, got enough uh, upgrade points, cash, whatever you want to call it, to get a 68 Charger. Uh, we actually, I mean, we've gotten to the point it's fairly competitive. We've still got to basically redeem ourselves for you know, doing horrible when we had the uh, 09 V6, but <laughs> uh, I've not been able to upload anything, uh, you know, basically due to the simple fact that, uh, uh, well, let me just ramble while this is up, uh, I haven't been able to upload anything because the modem, you know, from our internet service providers is it's on the blink, it'll show that it's connected, and then you actually try to do something. I can't even get to the email on YouTube to respond to people. Uh, it's pretty frustrating. You know, hopefully I can get somebody out, you know, first part of the week. This is Monday now, 2.40 a.m. Uh, obviously it won't be till later on today, best case scenario. But uh, I'm going to keep on playing through, try to get everything uploaded, including the end of Mystery Case files. But... Uh, Anyway, that kind of explains all that to you, if anyone cares. <laughs> uh, trying to think where I was going with that. Uh, oh, I did. I went ahead and saved the videos to cut the file size down. You know, hadn't spliced in the commentary yet. But uh, the uh, very first one where I was not using the nunchuck, I mean, it's, it's just comical to watch. I mean, you know, I knew it was horrible. Uh, when I did it, but then to like go back and watch it, um, <laughs> it's just, it's absolutely horrible, so, uh, that actually kind of looked like an owl and not a bat, but, uh, anyway, I mean, like I said, with the nunchuck, the controls aren't great, but they are manageable, you know, so, uh, there's our typical wreck that throws us from first to last place. Usually happens twice a race. <laughs> uh, I think that shortcut somewhere up here. I'd like to take it this time. Uh, I avoided that and I should have hit it. You know what? I think I see it on the map. It's not really a shortcut. <laughs> you know, to be completely honest with you. But I mean, as you can see now with the 68. Awesome. <laughs> uh, and the upgrades we've done to it, we actually are competitive. Uh, it's still actually a fairly difficult game at this point. Yeah, I don't know, I'm sure once we get like a, uh, you know, top of the line car or something, it won't be as bad. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you, when you're in the uh, 09 V6 at the start, I mean, it is absolutely uh, any mistake on your part, you basically have no chance of even finishing above sixth, really. Uh, and again, if you're picking this game up, do not play with the uh, Wii Remote standalone holding it sideways. I prefer that. I'm sure a lot of you probably do too. Uh, but don't don't even attempt it. Uh, it will save you time. I don't know. Hopefully, you're not just picking up here. You know, I hope that you, you know, start at the first playthrough, you know, but for some reason I had a description and you pick up here or something. Uh, again, the main thing I can stress in this game is using the nunchuck. Uh, <laughs> if you need to know why, just go to part one and it will be self-explanatory. So, uh, the brakes in the 68 really aren't that good and the thing is in the upgrade menu, there's absolutely nowhere to, uh, you know, upgrade, so I guess that's something. I told you I wanted to race with the 68 absolutely as long as I could, but if we do get to a point, you know, uh, where I can't compete with the 68, I guess I'll go ahead and, you know, break down, get back in one of the modern ones, which... You know, the Daytona and Super B aren't as bad. I mean, at least they've got the 5.7. Well, you know, Super B, I think, was a 6.1 on that, 
things. Uh, it actually looks pretty sharp colors. Uh, we screwed ourselves on that. Better use nitro. I think the best place to use nitro on this course is actually that uh, bridge where you've seen me spray twice. And actually, that was a shortcut, and it's not on the map. Uh, so I think it may actually be beneficial. I've seen that loop, and I mean, it's it's probably like that deal I took on the uh, mountain course. I think like part four or five when they did that. And I was pretty excited about it. It was basically just a bunch of coins, which, you know, I mean, that worked out well for us. You know, seeing how we wanted to unload the uh, starter car. You know, the menu layout in the game is kind of weak. Uh, doesn't really have as much depth as you would want. Uh, if you're a purist or a diehard like me, I mean, you'll find some of the simple things infuriating. You know, kind of like the, uh, I mean, I can see them, you know, with the 440 or you know, maybe with the Challengers, they've got a 346 pack or something. I mean, I can see it being a modern engine with the engine cover. Uh, I mean, that's, that's really sad, but, you know, I mean, I guess you can't expect the game designers, you know, to do everything, and I mean, the, it's obviously not the highest budget game in the world, so. But I mean, now that we're actually in a car that is competitive, I mean, the game's actually enjoyable kind of what I had hoped for it to be. Uh, you know, and I really think if I wouldn't have started out with the Wiimote sideways and just had a horrible experience, you know, I think I would have been more, oh jeez, upbeat, you know, optimistic like I'd like to be. I think I was fairly tired too. Uh, I'm not too happy right now because we went for that bottle and basically killed our first place. There's a shortcut. If we can get around Hendrick. I mean, as you can see, I mean, we basically upgraded our motor to the point that we can just, you know, do a few stupid things every race and still have a chance to you know, come back. I mean, it's somewhat of an arcade feel, but at the same time, it's, you know, a little, a little more realistic, so. And to their credit, you know, the 68, they did a nice job on. I mean, you know, you can imagine if they had a better you know, more money allocated to the project. Uh, we absolutely decimated everyone in that one. <laughs> uh, man, I mean, that's almost a full minute. You know, we're like, what, 19 hundredths off from being, you know, a full minute up on Laurent. Uh, which I think, no, I guess it was Hendrick. Uh, so we're obviously the top charger at this point. Got some upgrade points, so uh now, as you know, we've got to go in and re-race it. We'll be starting in 8th. Uh, we really hadn't fared that great. Uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. We'll be starting at the back tonight, but man, drive like that again, and nobody will stand in the way. Okay. Uh, again, what I was saying, we haven't really fared that well at night. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, start the race you know there's a few upgrades I think we could do but uh, I'm kinda gonna just wait on it so we'll see what we can do at night this time around and, uh, yeah we'll go from there if you can avoid you know the pack here you know they tend to have some collision just a few little ways into the race uh, yeah I think we'll be okay uh, we've already got a uh, full nitro bar, so I'm going to wait until we get an opening. That's actually what I'm doing. I think that was the back end of the shortcut. Uh, Alright, we're going to try to get by everybody real quick. So, uh, oh jeez. We'll see, uh, this will show you kind of what the... Uh, car we built is capable of. Alright, well, yeah, now we really <laughs> gotta do it. Uh, let me go ahead, this looks relatively straight actually around this bend. So I'm gonna hit the nitrous. And, uh, 
Let's see if we can catch back up here. I mean, at this point in time, we're actually still re-racing and just trying to advance past, you know, the uh, fifth race, I believe, is where it stalls out if you don't have the requisite points. So, now, we're not in the last anymore, so I guess that's somewhat complicated. Oh, I thought that was a wrench. That's, uh, Uh, so we're slowly. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, I was trying to avoid that car. Uh, we might have. I mean, this is still lap one, so I think we've definitely got a chance to make a comeback. You know, I mean that. There was absolutely no way to get around that. We had a guy basically run into us. I think we got penalized. So, I'll hit this. Uh, this is another good place for the nitrous. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know what it is, but for some reason the night courses were considerably Again, I mean, the music is cheesy as it is. is. Uh, you know, they don't have a feature soundtrack or anything. It's kind of like a created in the lab type deal. But I mean, it kind of grows on you, you know. Again, I do think it helps if you actually really like the cars in the game. I mean, if you're just like a casual fan or something, uh, I mean, number one, you're probably not going to buy this game. Just really, if racing games are all you do, uh, I mean, I've seen worse. You know. Personally, for me, I mean, you know, finding this game was pretty awesome just because you know, these are the cars that I like. And, uh, I mean, if I was going to go about designing my own video game, this is actually probably what I would do. I mean, granted, I would you know, really spend some time. And trick it out, but, uh, these are the, you know, basically the principles I would use, you know, these cars, and, you know, racing across various landscapes of America type deal. I'm waiting for a straightaway to use our nine we worked our way back in the second. Uh, I'm not quite sure who that is in front of us, if it's Loda or, yeah. That's a dark haired chick or something. Here we can use our nitrous. Let's see if we can't get past her. Oh no. Alright, if we can, uh, she's really not that far ahead of us. There's bad of a spin out as that was. And I think I kind of need a wrench. Something. Uh, <laughs> you know, at this point in time, no one's really seeming to take the shortcuts. I'm sure later on, when you get into more difficult races, that'll probably not be the case. But, you know, if we're ever not out in front, uh, you know, I feel like we can probably follow somebody and kind of get a feel for them. notice the uh, upgrade points I bypassed. I'm actually kind of, uh, or I just got her off the <laughs> truck. Oh jeez. What I was gonna, yeah she, that was that one wreck I was telling you about. You know we were in first sailing along, okay and then we get just plowed in from behind and I mean here it goes, we're in last place now basically. And because of that, I've got to use our nitrous. Uh, I mean, you can see how easy it is to just get slaughtered in this game, and that's with us, you know, having the, uh, the souped up car. I was trying to get that bottle, we clearly missed it. I 
mean, our best finish in this was fifth. I don't know. I'm not gonna... Yeah, now that we're back in fifth, I feel like we have a chance to top that. Uh, here's Maisie, Panther Pink Challenger. We'll try to slip straight. If we can get this nitrous, we have a chance to pass somebody. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't have enough, so looks like we're gonna take fourth. Which hopefully that'll net us in the top three. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, we got first, so I'm picking it up pretty good. Oh. Uh, I don't know who's in that charger. I think that's Hendrick in the uh, Panther Pink TA. You know, and if we can advance, I may go back and redo the uh, third leg as well. Alright, so luckily, since we did so well on the uh, daytime leg, uh, still had an 8 second lead over second place. And, uh,. <laughs> About a minute eleven over uh, Lauren in eighth, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Uh, so we're actually up here to 120 now. Uh, we're not done well enough to go on the next championship. Only 45 more points. Getting higher finishes, races should do the job. So I'm gonna go in. Now we got first in one. Oh yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> First in uh, two. Now I'm going to come in uh, Atlantic City. I'm going to re-race that. But I think I'll end this one here. I'm going to try really hard to keep all these under 20 minutes. Uh, you know, the Mr. Case files, I had some getting close to 30. And, you know, especially with the connection issues, that's just kind of a pain at this point in time. So... I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Uh, any questions, comments, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to help you out. And as always, thanks for watching.